I wanted to do Latin jazz. I wanted to do original, and I started. Um, I started. Uh, I started with the idea of doing something original and different from Banda Brava, right? And a smaller unit. So when I get the concept of the band doing original Latin jazz stuff, and mainly on the Cuban side, but also with some Brazilian elements, I now come to choose the players. Uh, from the players that I chose, people that were with me from the very beginning were Michael Stewart on tenor saxophone, Don Engler on alto and baritone. Don Engler was a former player of um, Barry Rich's big band before he moved to, to Toronto. And uh, then uh, Dave Restivo on piano, whom I really uh, saw for the first time at Hamburg College. He must have been 18, 19 years, years old. And I went like, wow, this guy, I gotta, I gotta have this guy, I gotta get, get a hold of this guy. And uh, I wanted a flutist who just flute, play flute, because I had used before players that play saxophone and flute as a second instrument. And when I saw Bill McBurney, I went like, whoa, man, I gotta get this guy. So I got Bill McBurney. Then um, I was doing a gig um, for about a week at the Royal York accompanying a big act, and I heard Terry Promain, trombone, and I went like, I like this guy. Uh, so I asked Terry to, to, to join the band, so now on trombone. So we have Terry, Don Engler on saxophone, Michael Stewart on tenor, Dave Restivo on piano, Will Jarvis on bass, Bill McBurney on flute. Now, when it comes to trumpets, I got Dave Dunlop on first trumpet, and then Kevin Turcott on second trumpet and flute. Right, so now I have the band. Then I had a percussionist by the name of Marcus Chomsky, who had been working with me for a while. He's going to be having a guest spot in my band uh, at Lula, right? So now I have the Tempest band, and then I'm, I'm just ready, we're ready to write music, people bring original music, and then I decided to, to just go for a sound that, that could really um, identify us as, at the time, the Jazz Cartel, the Building Bridges band. That's why I chose Terry Romain to arrange musically and harmonically the band, so, and as a co-writer too. So we both started working with ideas, and it worked. It worked. And then when it was time to record, we started recording. Um, we recorded maybe two, three tunes first, and I started shopping for it with record companies. And uh, the, the first three tunes that we recorded was with Gonzalo Rubalcaba as a guest on, on an arrangement of Cherokee. Then Dave Valentin with a tune that we, Terry and I wrote for him called Latin Morning, and it just features the flute. And then uh, Tito Puente building bridges, right? And then we started building the repertoire and doing gigs, you know, and doing the jazz festivals. Uh, we did the Dumouriez Theater. We did, we did play a lot Montreal Bistro at the time. You know, we, we, were, we were busy. We, we were well. And then uh, trying to get a tour, and that's what I mentioned to you earlier. When I realized it's very difficult to do a tour in Canada. So how long, how long was this band a going concern? How long did you guys stay together? Oh, we stayed together from 91 to 90, at the end of 95, when, we, when I, I left in 96. So the last gig that we did was at the Harbor Front in the, in the fall of 95. Tell me about coming back to Toronto and getting the band back together. Well, you know, it's been a long time since, since I moved out of Canada, right, in Toronto. But uh, thanks to Facebook, I'm keeping in touch with these guys. <laughs> This is not an ad for Facebook, but, uh, but it's, it's, you know, um, back in January, Dave Restivo and Kevin Tricot were in New York for the APAP convention. It's a convention that, the music convention that, that sells a lot of jazz acts. And we got to get for lunch. And while we were having lunch, I said, you know, I said, I get an idea. Man, I haven't been to Toronto for a long time, 18 years. What about doing a... a a, a gathering to get a gather together again and they said oh man that would be great i said well leave it with me i'll work on it so right the next day after they after we had we had lunch together i got on the phone called the toronto downtown jazz festival and i said guys what about this and I said 
great. Let's do it. So it's, it's incredible, man. It's like, as people say, providential, right? Because I call every single original member of the band, and every single original member of the band was available. So you haven't played with these guys for almost 20 years. 18 years. And so you haven't said, let's yeah. go there. So what was it like sitting down with them on Monday morning for the first time? Well, it was great. It's just like a family reunion. You know, it's just, it's beautiful. You know, I, I realized also, not that I didn't know, but I realized, man, you know, these guys are family. You know, there's such a love between us. And, uh, and that's, to me, is very, very, very important. You know, because if things are not well in harmony, spiritually, and, 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 you know, as a human being, you can have all the music skills in the world, but it's just music. It's just like, you know, skills, right? But it's, what is the heart? What is, what is behind, you know? So it's going to be very interesting what music is going to surprise us with tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is where I was going to go. What 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 can we expect to hear tomorrow night at the Lulu Lounge? Ja this is the first time that Jacqueline, my daughter, is going to be playing with this band. I don't know, man. It's just like that's what music is all about. It's the beauty of it, you know. And what's going to happen? I have a date tomorrow night, you know. I have a date with this girl called Music. What's going to happen? during the summer time. How many of you agree? <laughs> and uh, of course I'm surrounded by not only uh, a great, great bunch of musicians, but higher, higher caliber musicians, but also great people. I've been, I've been very blessed to be surrounded by beautiful people during my music career, and people that have not only the musical skills, but character and, and personality and friendship and uh, from from the time we got together on Monday I just feel the love for these guys. I love them very much. Give them a, a big hand. A good and biggest band. <laughs> 